Brad C here. Today we got a first on the channel. This is my first SBR and my first full auto gun of any sort. So I'm really proud to get this and actually they sent this to me right to my door. I didn't have to fool with an FFL. Now keep in mind this is a BB gun. You can see here that it has the DPMS Panther Arms brand which is an actual brand of firearms. I'd actually never heard of them. I'm going to ding these guys right out of the gate because when I opened this box this magazine was just flopping around. I was actually hitting on this so anytime metal is hitting something else. Now I granted I realize this is probably polymer but still I don't like the way that's packaged in there. Looks like a very detailed manual. One magazine and it is heavy heavy heavy. Here we have a speed loader. We'll give that a chance later. Let's take a look at this gun and all its components. Most of this is glass filled polymer, but I'll try to point out some metal pieces as we go along. You have a six position stock. It is adjustable. This little button right here is going to adjust that. You have a fake Ford Assist, but it does look real. Now the dust cover is plastic, but the bolt carrier group is not. It is steel, or at least metal. And you have same thing with the charging handle. Flip-up sights are plastic and they're cheap, but they do work and you can replace them. Same thing with this grip up here, this uh, basically angled foregrip. And these are regular size Picatinny rails, although they're not metal. As you can see here, everything is marked. So you do have everything numbered and that goes all around. Now on the end here you have a fake suppressor, whatever you want to call this. That will come off and gives it a nice little touch. You cannot interchange the stock on this. The stock is how it's going to stay. But this hand grip can be interchanged with any AR-15 platform. You want to put a mag pull grip on here, you can. But honestly, it's got a nice little traction to it. Obviously, know all your federal, state, and local laws on the legalities of having something like this that looks extremely real. And I have no idea about any of that. I don't really care. I live in a free state, so it's not a problem for me. But make sure you do know all your laws. Now, the rate of fire is up to 1,400 rounds per minute. And we have up to 430 feet per second. Anything over 400 is pretty impressive for a little BB gun like this. 25 round magazine and everything is included except for the CO2 and the BBs. So you'll definitely need to get some steel BBs and you'll need to get the CO2 cartridges. Now, again, I want to reiterate, make sure you get steel, not copper, because there is some sort of a magnetic function in these, so they will need to be steel BBs. I just want to show you how this gun works as far as all the mechanics. You know, the flip-up sights, you're going to have to just use your hands to physically flip them up, which is no big deal. But, you know, it's obviously not any kind of, like, expensive push-button system where they flop up. And, you know, the, the stock is going to be... Uh, six positions, but be careful because if you pull too hard, you know, this is going to come right off. But it goes back on and it's it's greased up and it's, it, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you know, this is not a gun that I plan on using for self-defense. Speaking of that, when my wife saw this, she was really excited. She's like, oh, that's awesome. I can take that and that would scare somebody off. No, no, no. This is not for trying to scare someone. You never, ever think that you're going to be able to use that for self-defense. Now, I'm not saying in a moment of pure panic, if you happen to be running around the house and an intruder was after you, that if you saw this, you wouldn't grab it up and try to make them think you had a real gun, I guess. But my goodness, you would never go to that as your actual way of defending yourself. Now, your mag release is just like a regular AR-15. Only thing is, it's not going to drop free. So I'm pushing it right now, and it's not dropping, but you know, it comes right out. Goes in and it clicks in secure. I want you to notice the the action of this. You know, here's the dust cover, and if I charge this, you see that dust cover. It, it reacts the same way as a regular dust cover does. And the other side, boom. This is going to make a really good simulation tool if you're looking to get familiar with the parts of an AR. And you, you can always put this thing in just regular semi-auto mode. I want to show you right here. You can see right now it's in semi-auto. Flip it to forward and we've got it on safety. And flip it all the way to the rear and we are on full auto. Now this is not going to be a burst. A lot of times you get these guns that when you pull the trigger a burst fire comes out of like five or six rounds and then you squeeze the trigger again another burst comes out. No, this is going to be a full 
you know, this is going to be the full, as long as you hold on that trigger, it's going to keep right on milking those rounds out. Now the magazine, as heavy as it is, and it looks like it's a, you know, a steel mag, it's not. This is definitely polymer. It's really a good thing that these are not drop mags where, you know, when you, you, you know, they're not drop free because if they were, you would definitely be damaging these and these magazines are $50 each. Be very careful with these magazines. You do not want to have to replace these. Full auto. You're not going to fool around semi or anything. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Let's see if it cycled them all. Cycled every single one of them. Sweet. It's pretty quick though. Full lot over here in the water. I just dumped a mag. I'm going to see if you can actually just put it in like you could a regular AR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hit anything, but yeah, you can actually just slap the mag in and uh, it's ready to go, just like a regular AR. That's pretty cool. Okay, gonna try semi-auto mode, just see if we can hit these cans. There we go. Sweet. I think I like to like the same auto mode better than I do the full auto. I actually get to enjoy it. And it's like there's a couple in there still. Maybe I didn't. I'll take some good editing to make that look good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do it? Yeah, I mean, had some jams there. I had to put it back in. Oh, yes, it is. Alright, do not try this at home. This is way too close to me to this target. Here where you can see it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's super high powered. I mean, uh, honestly, you could probably get shot by that and it wouldn't even hurt that much. Yeah, I take that back. I can't even put that on camera. No way. Right, so, uh, I can't even demonstrate it, but for a while there, I could push down this every once in a while and get some BBs to like come flying out of here. But, I mean, I. I how is this supposed to load the BBs? I do not understand. Final thoughts on this gun. If you're looking for a train simulation tool and a BB gun that is extremely realistic in feel, weight, everything as far as being able to take it apart, and yeah, this is the gun for you. However, if you have big dreams on full auto fun, I just didn't get that. I mean, it literally went by so fast, 25 rounds is just not enough. I mean, by the looks of this magazine, it looks like it could hold like 500 in there, and that would be awesome. I mean, if this thing could hold 500 BBs or even 100 BBs, but as is, it's just like, and you're done. I mean, that's kind of a letdown, to be honest. Personally, I think you'd have more fun with the semi-auto feature. I'd never had a semi-automatic BB gun. I always had a little pump BB gun when I was a kid. You had to pump it like 50 times to shoot it once. So, you know, this was a big upgrade for me, but that said, it wasn't the major burst of pleasure that I thought I was going to get from this. Now, I'm going to keep playing with this, and I'll put more videos up. Maybe I'll start liking it. Also, keep in mind that I did not sight this thing in. I just literally took it right out of the box, put it on full auto, and just started blasting away. And then I did a little bit of semi-automatic blinking, but, you know, I did not sight this in. So the next time I go out, I will actually take the time to play with the sight adjustment and get the sighted in. So I can't really speak to the accuracy. Now, as to the reliability, I dumped about six mags in full auto and never once had a failure of any sort. However, when I went to the semi-auto mode, I went through two or three magazines, and one of those magazines, when I got towards the end, it did have a some sort of a jam up. I pulled the mag out, put it back in, and it worked just fine with the rest of them. So, to me, it's 
pretty reliable and it's not like you know uh, this has to be 100% reliable I'm not looking to defend my home with this so I was satisfied with the reliability from what little testing I did hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe and you can check me out at bradctv.com Say hello to my little friend. Uh, I can't wait to play with this thing. That's both girls. Oh, they're both girls. Yeah. Yeah, he, this one's real lovey, but it, it just keeps whimpering. It won't jump on you either. But that other one just jumps on you like crazy. It's like, just like Snuggles. And this one's just like Winford. She's really enjoying that snack over there, though. Oh, they love that pepperoni. I give them one of those every time they come back. Whenever I so they've hit that tune button and make a noise and they come running back, oh. I give them a treat. That's what, yeah. So they've caught one rabbit or well, they, they chase one. Chase yeah. one. They never I'm, catch I'm them. Thinking about buying some. You can buy wild rabbits. Right. For ten dollars a piece. Wow. Thinking about taking some up here and turning loose. Oh yeah, that's a no-brainer.